back, welcome back. Your eyes are not deceiving you. The sun is actually out and it is shining. <laughs> it is hot once again. I don't know what the hell is going on, man. <laughs> it went from icy cold yesterday. Now we're hot today. Now we're hot today. So, ah, I don't know. That's, hey, I'll take it, man. I, I miss the sun. I have missed seeing the blue sky. <laughs> wow. But of course, guys, before we get into today's topic, if you guys would like, excuse me, if you guys would like to sponsor the, or like to help out the channel, you can always go to firstwarrior.com to get 10% off discount code SugimanUSA. Get yourself some sweet merch. You guys know I would like to do it. Now, <laughs> now that the plug's out of the way. So, let's get into today's topic. So, I was having a talk with uh, one of my progressive friends. And yes, I do have friends who are progressive. Now, some people, they don't like doing that type of thing. You know, some people would rather just have friends who think like them. I get that. But at the same time, I still like to see perspectives from all sides. Even though I know what my values and what my morals are, you know, even if someone is different, that doesn't mean I can't be friends with them as long as we have a mutual respect for each other and, you know, what we believe in such. I mean, I, to me, it's okay. You know, as long as there's, like, respect between you guys, as long as you guys can, as long as you guys can agree on some things, I think, you know, having someone who's on the opposite side, I think it, I think it can happen. I don't know, but... That's just me. Now, anyways, I'm having I talk with one of my progressive friends this morning. And she got into the topic of maybe starting her own comic book. Because uh, we were initially just talking about, um, you know, science stuff. That's what I talk about. And so, you know, she was thinking that, you know, maybe uh, like the actual like scientific elements can be you know, translated into, I guess, some, sort of, something like a hero form, like, um, you can have, but she give an example, like, maybe gravity can be, like, a woman, and, of course, her superpower is gravity, and you have, uh, what was another talk, what was another one she, uh, she gave, like, basically, they could just be, like, you know, scientific elements, you know, like, gravity, and, air and, and such, you know, things like that. And so we got into the conversation of, okay, because I asked her this, I'm like, okay, well, that's cool and such. I mean, it sounds sort of like Avatar, you know, The Last Airbender, because, uh, I mean, you know, water, air, earth, fire, all that, but um, if you want to go you know, the scientific element route, I mean, it sounds like Avatar, but I'm like, okay, well, cool. That sounds, you know, good and good and dandy because initially she wanted to kind of start it and to help kids kind of understand, you know, what gravity is, what, you know, what the atmosphere is kind of like made of, you know, stuff, you know, things like that. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's cool. That can work, but evidently you have to figure out, okay, what makes a superhero a superhero? Like, you just can't say, oh, a superhero just saves someone. Like, that's not really the case. And so we went kind of back and forth on that topic. And then finally, we got to the topic of, okay, well, superheroes are more than just people who save people. You know, that's not really what makes a superhero. Now, again, going down this whole rabbit hole, she got into the idea of, well, well, I got it. I brought, I brought up the notion that, okay, comic books nowadays, they're not, you know, the same as they used to be because they're really pushing an agenda. Like, they're really pushing social, you know, social justice. It's all this bullshit. And we got into, like, this kind of, like, argument and where my stance was more so, you know, comics, especially at the golden age of comics, like, I haven't really been keeping up with comics. Like, the last series I really read from comics was probably DC's Convergence from, what was it, 2015 or 16? I think it was 2015 when Convergence came out. But she was taking it more of the stance as, well, okay, comics 
you know, this is how progressives think. You know, comics, you know, they gradually change over time. You know, that's, you know, maybe the it's just the era that we're living in. You know, how everything is kind of politicized, which is why I always, you know, again, I like to keep a diverse group of people around me so I can see that other side. But the point I was trying to drive home to her is that the thing about comics and the thing about superheroes is that if you change the fundamentals of what makes a superhero a superhero, you're going to fail. You know, look at what's going on with Batwoman right now. Now, check out uh, freaking... Check out freaking uh, Yellow Flash and uh, Heel vs. Babyface and the quartering. Those guys who like really report on this type of stuff. The ratings for Batwoman are tanking. Like there's, I think what, the the, <laughs> the latest episode, like it had like 500,000 people watching. That's like a fucking small city, bro. Like <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, damn. You know, and I'm trying to drive home the fact to her that comic books may be changing, yes, but if you can't write a good story, you're going to fail, you know, evidently. Like, take for example, again, like, uh, what's going on with DC right now? Uh, what got them high? Look at that bullshit. Uh, what, I am not, uh, Starfire with, with her, Starfire's daughter, and like, she's like a, like some kind of gothic, chubby, bloated thing, like, bro, those aren't superheroes, those aren't people you can actually look up and say, hey, I want to inspire to be like this kind of character, you know, like, who wants to be a short, gothic, fat kid, you know, like, that's not even healthy, that's not even a positive outlook, but again, it goes back to that whole notion of pushing that, you know, that image that, oh, big is beautiful, and look, I'm black, I like me some, you know, I like me some thick women, I like some women with some meat on the bones, all right, I'm not gonna lie, but they're good, they're, <laughs> But it, there's a point where it's like, okay, <laughs> you know, I'm, too much is too much, you know? So, I, I don't know, man, but again, I'm, I'm trying to explain this to her because she thinks that, okay, again, this is just how comics are, and if I don't like it, I don't have to read it, which I call bullshit because look at what's going on. See? Well, I'll get to that part in a second, but look at what's going on with comic books right now. Sales are tanking. Manga is doing better than comics in the United States. That's saying something, Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, it's killing it. It's killing it over here because that's the name of the Japanese. They don't give a fuck. They don't listen to this PC bullshit. They just go out there and they make their fucking money. They write good stories. That's all they care about at the end of the day. I'm trying to drive home the fact to her is that these companies, these industries, they're just going with that. They're just going in what they perceive people would want. That's all they're doing. And it's like, <laughs> for some reason, she couldn't get it through her mind because... Of course, she doesn't believe the censor the censorship of people on the right is real. Like, bro, like, it, like it's so apparent that there's censorship out here. Why do you think that you know people who want to really get into, well, people who that whole encompass that whole PC culture? Why do you think that's all you see on Twitter? Because that's the only thing they're promoting. They're not promoting anything else. Like, this is not rocket science. Like, she's is she's much smarter than me like she's like super smart and i don't understand why it's so prevalent that she can't see you know the actual i i don't know man it's like it's like it was like talking to a wall i mean and the crazy thing is she says she doesn't even read comics so i mean like you can't if you don't read comics how can you actually sit there and make an argument saying, oh, this is the way comics, well, not really this is the way the comics are, but my point is kind of invalid, being that I've been reading comic books longer than you, I've been reading material from, like, some of the silver and golden age, you know, with, uh, like, you know, Frank Miller and all that, like, like, it's, it's <laughs> like, bro, it's, it's crazy because, and I know, I'm not, I'm all over the place, but, I mean, I'm kind of scatterbrained today. I mean, but I, it's like these, she doesn't understand that these companies cater to people heavily on her side. I, I mean, think about it.
society, man. Think about what's going on with our media. Think about what's going on with comics. Think about what's going on with our TV shows. Bro, even with Spider-Man PS4, they put in a freaking Black Lives Matter memorial, like memorial, like well, memorial. That's how you say it. Yeah, memorial. <laughs> they put in that shit for Spider-Man. Like what? Even again, this is why I don't even fucking read comics anymore. 
Dark Mo Dark Knight Returns. I think it was one that came out last year. No, like 2018, 2019. Um, who was it? I think it was the Dark Knight and the Golden Child or something like that. But either way, um, I saw. I mean, I I didn't really finish that uh, that series. So I mean, I, I'm not gonna speak too much on it. But I saw a snippet of where the Joker and Dark Side were campaigning for for Trump. But at that time, I think uh, they just switched Trump from the president to the governor of New York or something. And it's like, it's blatantly obvious that it's Trump. And like, they're, they're just using, they're just using that medium from Trump to just cause a bigger division. And like, they had another, uh, another caption where like, there was like riots in the street and shit. And like, people were saying, you know, they don't want Trump. Well, we don't want him anymore. Like, people were protesting and fighting against cops holding up um, you know, anti-Trump signs saying, you know, not him again and get him out of here and we don't like, you know, things like that. And it's like, like, I read comic books. I, I watch TV shows to escape from everything that's going on from around me. And it's these progressives that have infiltrated every fucking part of my media. And it's like, and it's like you try to explain it to a progressive, and it just goes right over your head. I, I don't know, man. Yeah, man. I don't, I don't know. I, I really don't know, guys. But that's that's what's been going on with me, man. But again, that's why I'm happy that Gina Carano is working with Ben Shapiro. That's why, like, we need to really take back the culture, man. We have to. I can't. This is just terrible. It's it's hard out here for a pen. <laughs> like, it's just. We have to take back this fucking culture, guys. Like, we, we really need to play this. <sighs> mm. But, <laughs> I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this one, man. So, <sighs> it's almost time for me to. Shit. Yep, it's almost time for me to head into work. So, guys, until the next one. Take care. <laughs>